Hello techies. Welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. This is module 7, Introduction to UI Flows using Power Automate. In the previous sessions, we've learned how to create my flows and we learned how to create and use a team flow by using Power Automate. In this module, we are going to introduce you UI flows by using Power Automate. As part of this module, we will learn how to create UI flows and I will show you how to create and test UI flows for desktop applications. And also I will show you how to create and test UI flows for the web applications using Power Automate. Before starting this module, we want to know what UI flow is. Microsoft RPA capability in Power Automate is called UI flows. UI flow having RPA capabilities, nothing but robotic process automation capabilities to automate the task. By using UI flows, we can automate both Windows applications and web applications without any coding knowledge. UI flows having a step-by-step -step record and playback experience that walks you through the whole process. Now we will see what is RPA. RPA is nothing but robotic process automation is the use of software with artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning capabilities to handle high volume repeatable tasks that previously required human to perform. These tasks can include queries, calculations, and maintenance, maintenance of records and transactions. In simple words, robotic process automation allows organization to automate tasks just like a human being was doing them across application and systems. RPA doesn't require the development of code, nor does it require direct access to the code or database of the applications. If you want to know more about the RPA, please watch the video which is provided in the comment section. Blue Prism Automation Anywhere UI Path already they are implementing RPA capabilities. The same kind of features are incorporated in Microsoft Power Automate also. Now we will see what are the prerequisites to create a UI flows. First of all, we require to download UI flow installer and then we need to install UI flows installer in the system. Then we need to install Selenium IDE extension for the browser and also we need extension for the UA flows browser extension. And also we need to activate the UA flow browser extension also. Let me switch to us.flow.microsoft.com, nothing but Power Automate portal. Now we are in the home page. Let me click on my flows. As I previously explained, we have seen how to create my flows and also we have seen how to create and use of team flows. Now, if you see there are the business process flow also, I will explain you later on. Now, we will see UI flows. This is already in previous state. So by using this uh, UI flows, we can create desktop applications as well as web applications. Let me go ahead, let me click on UI flows. So actually we will get a, uh, you know, a, uh, a icon over here, like create UI flows over here. Okay, but still, if you see, if you want to create any UI flow, there's an option over here, you can see UI flows. If you want to create a new, click on new. You can see over here, there's a create UI flow preview. There are two options that have been provided by the UI flows, choose a desktop or web to get started. Okay, first of all, you know, by using UI flows, we can create two kind of uh, applications. One is desktop application, that is, uh, you know, we can create a flow by using desktop applications as well as the web applications. What I will do, first of all, I will show you how to create a web application. Okay, so over here, if you see web applications run virtually on the latest versions of Microsoft Edge, that is Chromium and Google Chrome. So as a prerequisite, you required, uh, you know, Microsoft Edge or else Google Chrome to run these web applications or UI flows. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to select web application. 
okay and then i'm going to click on next here you can see welcome to uf flows for web the the you know option record multi step task as per the user interface level then replay for uf flow to perform the same series of steps automatically you can find it of these steps over here you can see launch the record from your browser return to the power automate and then edit and add your ui flows these are all the you know it is giving a simple steps how to create it now if you see on my right hand side what is the flow name i'm just giving the flow name as facebook so each and every one is very familiar with the facebook right and uh, you know it is very easy to understand even so what i'm going to do and you can see there is the base url what is the url we have to provide the url for the facebook http colon slash facebook dot com so i have given the flow name as well as the base url of that then you can see launch record so whenever you have given the base url then only will get the launch record now i'm going to click on launch record so you can see over here we were unable we are not able to find it out ui flows browser extension running as i said there are the extensions of required for the ui flows correct so one of the one is uh, ui flow extension for the google chrome and that is ui flows installer and then we need selenium ide for the browser extension okay so it has been while troubleshooting we have found it out like that you know please make it sure that ui flows install and then browser extension enable to record your step select download to get the latest ui flows installer so by using this what i'm going to do i'm going to download ui flows installer and then i will show you how to install that ui flows now what i'm going to do by using this url i have already started downloading over here you can see setup.microsoftflow.com or flow.exe this is the installer which we are going to be it will take a little bit time to download and then i will show you how to install this microsoft ui flows installer so setup for you know setup microsoft ui flows.exe has been downloaded downloaded successfully now what we are going to do we are going to open this or directly going to run this once you double click on the ui flows setup you will find this kind of window that is ui flows preview setup and you can see configure desktop and uh, environment for building testing and running ui flows you are going to install uh, you know this install include setups for the recorder browser extension and third party components and you can find it to install to this is the particular location where you know ui flow has been installing okay and just expand the show advanced options and install ui flows browser extension and then set up ui flows apps to start minimize or automatically after signing in and uh, you will find uh, you know install microsoft edge web driver and google chrome web driver on demand and uh, allow microsoft to collect usage data to improve ui flows so you, by default these checkbox has been already selected and you know i'm selecting one more thing i accept the terms of use and privacy statement then i'm going to click on install it will takes a little bit time to install on your desktop so it is giving one kind of warning please close any microsoft edge chromium and google chrome browsers okay let me click on close you can find it automatically you know microsoft flow preview added another program on your computer added an extension that may change the way google chrome works okay so what i'm going to do i'm enabling the extension by clicking on enable extension so what i'm going to do once again i'm going to click on the launch recorder again i have closed the browser and i have reopened it let me uh, click on launch recorder again if you see over here something went wrong you will need to install selenium ide extension to install and enable to continue so previously when we have installed ui flow installer now as i said we required selenium ide also now what i going to do i'm going to download it once again by clicking on that now you can see over here you will find this kind of option uh, you know selenium id add to the chrome okay let me click on add to chrome 
and it is asking you know to add the extension i'm going to click on add extension it will take a little bit time to while checking and installing over all the things so lenum id is going to be extension is going to be you know adding to your google chrome or um, microsoft edge selenium id has been added to google chrome okay i'm going to closing it i'm going to close this also the tab i'm going to closing it now what i'm going to do once again i'm going to click on launch and recorder launch recorder now you will see selenium id for the facebook has been you know started it so this is the selenium id which we are going to use it okay now if you see what i am going to do so you can see on the you know this is the test on all these things on the left hand side you can see the project name facebook and also if you see there's a lot of tabs we are having in selenium id one is the project over here on the right hand side you can see create a new project open a project save a project and then you can see pause on exceptions recording so what we have done we have given the pro, uh, project name as facebook or flow name as facebook and then we have given the url http colon facebook.com then what i'm going to do i'm going to start recording in this session we have learned about the ui flows that is nothing but introduction of ui flows and also we have seen how to install ui flow installer and also how to install selenium id extension for the google chrome as well as the microsoft edge and also we have seen how to uh, install the ui flow extension for the google chrome as well as the microsoft edge in the part 2 i will explain you how to create desktop applications as well as the web applications using ui flows thank you for watching microsoft power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section your comments and feedbacks are very valuable to us thank you bye bye have a nice day